At the rear of the Discovery Sport, you can really see how high it is. It's 1,73 meter. And very important with that car is depending on the trim level and the extras you buy, you will find LED taillights, including a dynamic indicator. And to give our car a bit more sporty look, we do find this diffuser down here and these, yeah, let's say, fake exhausts because we're driving the trim level are dynamic. That looks a bit different with a standard car. But I think that car really looks from the rear a lot like a standard Discovery and I really do like it. There were two goals which Land Rover wanted to achieve with a new Discovery Sport. One is the car should be more comfortable and the other it should be more agile. And they really achieved both. So when I started driving the car, I instantly recognized it it was a lot more quiet than its predecessor and when you then drive this mountain roads here with all these tight bends and curves you instantly feel that the car is yeah let's say more solid on the road and i think a lot better and easier to control the interior of the discovery sport was lifted to a different level so wherever you touch now you will only find soft touch materials no plastic at all anymore on top of this the car received a new gear shift which is the one from the um, Range Rover Sport and they lifted the center console by 90 millimeters and that really provides you more space beneath that and therefore you now find a 7.3 liter compartment beneath the armrest. At the side you can see that the headlamps running quite into the really side of the car and then on top we do find a very short hood and a very flat front window as with its predecessor. Important with the car is when you look at the rims here, as standard, the Discovery Sport features 17 inch alloys, but our car is featuring the 21 inch alloys. Important here is they, yeah, you have to pay extra and they cost you, depending on the trim level, up to more than 3,000 euros. Uh, when you look at the whole size of the car, it is 4 meters 60 long, so nearly exactly the same as the predecessor and it still features a wheelbase of 2 meters 74 and of course it is a Land Rover so it also features 21 centimeters of ground clearance. Important here is new when you look at these uh, wheel arches here you do find claddings but with our car because we're driving the R Dynamics trim level we do find them in the same color as the car. It is the same down here with the side here and this gives the car a bit more sporty look with a standard because they come in yeah, dark plastic. And one thing that is new is this um, flat here at the side. And this really provides the car a bit more, yeah, closer to the ground. So it makes the car a bit more sporty. And then looking at the rest, the shape of the car is very similar to the predecessor. So we do find a slightly dropping roof line. And of course, we do find, yeah, the side rear of the car that reminds me a lot to his big brother, the big discovery.